But our top story tonight is that big story that we've been tracking for the last few days. And under pressure, Rajasthan Chief Minister Vasundha Raje is remaining defiant, giving no indication that she will yield to the pressure to resign. This even as the Congress has threatened to hold a statewide agitation and even take the controversy to the President's doorstep. Seeking to put a lid on speculation, that she's been asked to quit. Raje's office termed it as untrue while complaining about unsubstantiated media reports. But the Raje controversy and her links with former IPL Commissioner Lalit Modi have split the party down the middle. Arun Jaitley this evening saying no one is tainted. But other union ministers and BJP leaders are refusing to comment on record. Clearly it appears that the party is divided and the media is having to beat a retreat because Vasundra won't speak to us. Calm and confident. Vasundra Raje appeared completely unflustered as she took the guard of honor at the police academy in Jaipur on Thursday morning. Brazening out allegations that she signed witness documents for Lalit Modi. But when India Today questioned the Rajasthan chief minister, this was the response. Just see the way the media is actually being stopped from doing its duty. Look at the look at the amount of force that has been slapped on the media at this moment. Look at the way uh, journalists are actually being held at this moment. Vasundra has decided that she won't go down without a fight. While she's admitted that she did sign the witness documents, she claims that she never appeared in court as a witness for the former IPL commissioner. Raji says that she signed the documents as Lalit Modi's personal friend. And it isn't just her, but several businessmen, lawyers, editors even, who've signed as witnesses. Raji claims that she and Lalit Modi were being hounded by the Congress government. Sources have told India today that Raje has refused to resign as Rajasthan Chief Minister. Vasundra has told senior BJP leaders that she needs time to assess whether the documents put out by Lalit Modi are genuine. She's also claimed support of a majority of local MLAs and has hinted that the party could have a bigger mess on its hands if it acts forcibly against her. So what if the BJP actually had to decide about life after Vasundra in the state of Rajasthan? What really are their options for the post of Chief Minister? It turns out the options are very poor. The BJP too is split down the middle over Rajay. Rajnath Singh and Nitin Gadkari, for instance, are among the prominent leaders backing her. But a section within the BJP feels that the party's image and the Prime Minister's own credibility will be dented unless decisive action is taken, and soon. Conspicuously, the Prime Minister hasn't revealed his monkey bath on the scandal. The BJP chief too choosing to remain completely silent. Are you still backing Ms. Vasundra Raje's resignation? Smelling blood, the Congress has stepped up its attack, questioning the Prime Minister's silence and declaring that the BJP must sack Vasundra Raje. Joining me now is uh, Sambit Patra, the BJP spokesperson, and uh, Sachin Pilot, the Rajasthan Congress president. As Vasundha Raje, it appears, is digging her heels in. Sambit Patra, Vasundha Raje has apparently told your party leadership, yes, she may have signed this document as a witness, but she did not appear in court. Now, it appears she is now resorting to technicalities. First, she denied knowledge of this document. Then, when her signature comes out, now she says she may have signed, but she didn't appear in court. How long is this going to continue? How long will you allow her to brazen it out? Uh, Rajdeep, it seems that you all uh, seem to know more about the party than we the spokespersons know. What she has spoken to the party is not even known to us. How do you say that apparently she has accepted to the fact that she was the one who has put the signature? Let's wait uh, very patiently and very maturely I would say that let's wait for the statement to come. Let's wait for the whole issue because the party believes in propriety. The party is looking into the whole issue and we'll come out with the answer. So are you, are you accepting in that sense Sambit Patra that if it is found that it is Vasundha Raje indeed who had signed that document then she will have to step down or are you saying even that is an open question no I would not uh, step up my guns and I am no one to comment on this the party will take a call on all the issues as spokespersons we will just convey you what the party makes up the mind on Mr. And Samit I Patra you seem to be very somber today for the last three days till, till today you are uh, 
uh, virtually fiercely defending Vasundha Raja, now you become rather somber. Does that suggest to me that you finally realize possibly that defending Vasundha Raja anymore is going to be difficult for you and the party spokespersons? No, Rajdeep. I mean, the, the way of defense, I choose my way of defense according to the, uh, according to the suitability. Mm -hmm. I have been fierce and I have been somber off and on. And today I believe uh, I am in the way I am. And, uh, well, yes, I would say that uh, a certain set of documents that you are showing, what mm -hmm. the authenticity of the document is, has to be verified. Before that, I cannot say anything more than this. Okay, uh, Sachin Pilot, here you're hearing the BJP spokesperson saying, let the documents be verified before you call for the resignation of Vasundha Raja. The Congress, meanwhile, seems to have decided to take this to the streets. So you're not willing to wait for any verification. Well, Rajiv, there are two things. One is that no one, including the Chief Minister, is saying that the documents are falsified, the signatures are fake. Uh, it's proven beyond doubt by multiple sources that the affidavit was filed as a secret witness. Vasundraji put her name down and helped Lalit Modi get the travel documents. I don't think the BJP is in any position to kind of deny this anymore because the inevit inevitability of it all is very clear. The writing is on the wall. They are just buying time, I suspect, for uh, figuring out succession plans and what might happen in the state. But the more important aspect is that I am still not hearing anything from the Prime Minister of our country. Now, the top B BJP leadership can debate and discuss all that it wants. But once you are in full knowledge of violation of a law, somebody holding an important position as a Chief Minister, it's untenable. I don't know how much space and how much elbow room they've got left to build up any sort of a defence because this is indefensible. Sambit Patra. This question is now being posed every day. The Prime Minister silent ever since this broke almost two weeks ago now. Now, there's a feeling that a section of the party wants Vasundha Raja to stay on, a section wants her out, that the divide is there and it is now for the Prime Minister to take a call. Is that true that removing a Chief Minister like Vasundra is dividing your party, which is why you're asking me today to press the pause button? Now, as far as the Prime Minister speaking is concerned, we can clearly see the obsession of the Congress and the other opposition parties. Mm -hmm. They have been umpteen number of times in the previous occasions also asking for the Prime Minister to speak. But the important question is, probably the Congress has conducted some infinite press conferences mm -hmm. from the day this so-called exposure was made. Mm -hmm. Did Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, the Chief of Congress, even address a single press conference? Did Mr. Rahul Gandhi, the Vice President of Congress, address a single press conference? If Mrs. Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi do not deem fit that they should address even a press conference to this regard, that uh, it almost concedes the fact that they do not consider this as impropriety, why do they want the Prime Minister of the country Country to speak on this topic. Such a pilot are sufficient. Respond. We Such are sufficient. I am sufficient. The ministers are making are a good sufficient. point there. Sambit Patra is saying that if, if, no, if I, Rahul Gandhi no, no, and no. Sonia Gandhi don't seem concerned, why, is the, why, is the, why do you want the Prime Minister to respond? Because the allegations are made against a member of his cabinet. It is a collective responsibility. The Prime Minister is responsible for his conduct of his cabinet colleagues. The allegation is made on the Chief Minister of BJP. What does that have to do with Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi? The pop and in fact, I just want to correct, the allegations are not made by the Congress party. It is Lalit Modi who is giving the document. So it is not that I have gone to do witch hunting against an individual. The documents are put in public domain by Lalit Modi. We are only asking the question that why is a government that has come to power with such promise of delivering a clean government is keeping quiet when members of its own cabinet are put in a very tight situation. It's okay for you to blame other people when you're mm -hmm. in opposition, but the real test of a leadership comes when you are confronted with a difficult choice, when you have to decide what is to be done. Yeah, you know, uh, Sambit Patra, you are a spokesperson, you are aware how public perception plays out, particularly on television. Will you concede that public perception of a government that has proudly claimed that it is corruption free, that there is no scam, the Prime Minister has been saying it from the rooftops. That perception is suffering the longer you prevaricate on this issue. Either you tell the world that you believe Vasundha Raja has done no wrong, that Lalit Modi is not an absconder, he is not a fugitive, or you accept the reality that Vasundha Raja confused her personal relationship with Lalit Modi with her duties as a public servant. 
absolutely two things as far as the perception battle that you are saying you are right that there is a perception battle which goes through the television to the people and we have seen that way back who better than the Bharati Janata Party knows it way back in 2014 when uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was not the Prime Minister then and was a campaign manager of Bharati Janata Party the chief campaign manager the kind of perception that had been driven to the people since 2002 till 2014 was quite evident but people could know what the truth is nothing whatever comes on the television whatever is shown by the media well yes the media is rightful in showing it but people have their own way of are deriving you saying the truth. that there is no negative perception today no being I'm built up saying, are you saying I'm there is not no saying negative that perception I'm, I'm being not built saying up? that I'm not saying that I'm saying number one just because no scandal exists and mm. certain people because of the unemployability try to manufacture a scandal and create a perception that does not mean that the party are you saying this is scared. a manufactured scandal I would say are a you saying this is a manufactured scandal, scandal? Overall, I would say, if when there is no a leader of your party quite, who is openly standing by someone who is seen or perceived as having run away from the country, not facing the law of the land, gives a witness statement and a character certificate to that person, and you're saying this is only a perceived, this is a manufactured scandal? We had spoken about Sushma Ji's case also a few days back, and today. You would also realize that there was no sand holding Sushma Ji's case, and in fact, it has almost demolished itself. No, sand. I don't and know. No, that's, that's no, 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 not no. true. Sambit. And that's what I was that's saying a manufactured true. scandal. The no, no, Rajdi, let me complete. I want to complete my sentence, Rajdi. I think I'll take all your questions. Answer. But allow me to complete my answer. I'll take all your questions. My statement is a manufactured scandal trying to create a perception in the country will never force the party to act in accordance with what our opponents want. Well, yes, if there is a real impropriety which mm -hmm. is sending out wrong signals, the party will definitely look into it. But when there is no impropriety and only talks of impropriety, should the party be on back foot? That I, is what the question so is. So you say, so I, I want it clear from you. You say there is no impropriety. You believe Sushma Swaraj has committed no impropriety. You believe Vasundara has committed no impropriety. Is that what you are saying today? As far as Sushma Ji's case is concerned, that has been rightfully answered by three quarters, the party president, the home minister and the mm -hmm. finance minister so of no the country. Impropriety. And there is no question of impropriety I in that see. case. No as far question as of impropriety Ray, that the minister of external affairs Ji's case directly is concerned, speaks to I have, our British I have counterparts answered you. on a question I've, of, uh, uh, of Lalit Modi without informing anyone and you are saying no impropriety. Vasundha Raje, impropriety or criminal culpability? Uh, please allow me to complete, Raj. Basunda Raja, impropriety or criminal culpability? Can I complete? Yes. Uh, or, or, or I'll wait for your question. No, to no, complete. no. Vasundra no Raja, impropriety or criminal culpability? Sushma Ji, I have said you, as far as Vasundra Ji is concerned, I have in the opening statement itself said, we are waiting for the document's uh, uh, validity to be known. Let's see under what context, what these documents are, who signed it, did they sign it or not. We do not know about the document as of now. Okay. As the party will look into it, the party will take a rightful decision at the right time. You know, uh, Sachin Pilot, here is Sambit Patra making a distinction now between Sushma Swaraj's case and that of Vasundha Raje. He says, Sushma Swaraj clean chit as far as he is concerned. Vasundha Raje, we are looking into it. Now, the Congress, on the other hand, has gone today to Smriti Irani's house, stage the dharna. You want Sushma Swaraj out and you want Vasundha Raje. Am I to understand now that as far as you are concerned, target number one is Vasundra? You've forgotten about Sushma? No, Rajiv, I think you're giving Sambit Patra a hard time unnecessarily because, you see, when you break the law, it doesn't matter how far you go. Once you've broken the law and the impropriety is established, uh, it's not a matter of technicality. It's a matter of morality. It's a matter of transgressing the, uh, the, the boundaries of our law. Um, he says there's a difference what, between the case uh, of Vasundra and Sushma. No, He's saying there's no, a difference. The, no, there is no... Let him say what, but the Indian law is the same. The you, NDA ministers are saying that our ministers won't resign. That's because they want to have two laws in this country, one law for the common citizen and one law for the NDA ministers. And they can do whatever they want if a common citizen, Rajdeep, were to help and abet a fugitive like Lalit Modi by giving an affidavit in a foreign country, that person would have been picked up by the police first, asked questions later. Are you so aware that the witnesses include, are you aware that those who minister? signed this statement include businessmen, lawyers, even editor, even an editor? That it was not just Vasundha Raja who signed the statement. It, what I'm, but... The individual who is a con who is holding a constitutional position is a public servant. Ah, that's then the there is a definite transgression of law. Sachin Pilot says you'll have to take the resignation today or tomorrow. 
Only yesterday, Mr. Rajnath Singh made it clear we are not like the UPA. We are not going to ask our ministers to resign. Have you boxed yourself into a corner? Has this become a prestige issue for the Prime Minister and the BJP that the media has no one to tell us who should resign when? Is that the reason why you are holding on? Or are you simply going by the belief that unless a charge sheet is filed, no one will resign? No, look, well, as per what the Congress wants, the Congress desire is every minister should resign and Mr. Rahul Gandhi should be made, be the, should be made the Prime Minister of the country. It is quite evident. Every second minister in this country should resign. No, as far as the government of India is concerned, what Mr. Rajnath Ji said was, we are not the UPA government, we are NDA government. Mm -hmm. No impropriety would be conducted in this government. If any impropriety would be conducted by any minister of this government, no one will be spared. But since they have not conducted any, so why resignation? Just because there is a battle of perception created by Congress people, mm. there's no reason for the uh, Then, for, then for why the don't you openly say on my, why don't you give a clean chit then to Vasundra? No, why I, are you I, not I, giving a clean chit then to Vasundra Raja? If you believe no impropriety Let the, let the, let the, let the, the party deliberate upon it. The party you is deliberating upon the whole issue. You seem confused. My worry no, is no one party is confused. seems confused. I'll tell you. R.K. Singh says one thing one day. Kirti no. Azad says one thing one day. Rajnath Singh ji says one thing. Nitin Gadkari says one thing. And Sambit Patra says a fifth thing. No one is confused. As far as Bharatiya Janata Party is concerned, we are not confused. But yet, I agree to the fact that there is confusion in air. And why there is confusion is air? Because of the very fact that there is no impropriety. You have been shouting, you in the sense the media, the opposition has been shouting impropriety, impropriety day in and day out since 16 days. But the people of this country are unable to find where the impropriety a is. Public servant, a, public crores, servant goes and a public servant goes and signs a witness statement for someone who is wanted for investigation and you say that there is no impropriety the minister for external no, let affairs that be picks up the phone bypasses be protocol Rajdeep. and asks for a passport to be given and you say there is no impropriety Sambit Patra your definition of impropriety is obviously very different no, to the rest of the but country has, has all these been established let this be established let it be established who's going to, establish it? Who's no. going to verify it the same government is going to verify your own own ministers so, so who's going then to who will verify it Who's if not the agencies, if not the agencies of government of India, who do you want to verify? Naturally, the agencies, the various independent agencies okay. of this government of India or parties mechanism. In fact, we have to wait for what Vasundaraji's statement would be. My friend from Congress continuously saying that the individual concerned has accepted. But I, being the party spokesperson, I'm aware of any fact where the individual uh, Mrs. Vasundra Raje has accepted any of this fact. Let us wait. Have some patience. Okay. Final word then, uh, Sajin Pilot. 30 seconds. Do you have patience? Do you have more patience than we have in television think... studios? I think forget about you and me, Rajdeep. I think this country is expecting more and I want to just make a correction. I never said that Vasundha ji has accepted. I said she hasn't denied. Now, if she was actually not signing those papers, she would have by now denied those uh, the facts of that matter, first of all. And I think the BJP feels that they have a divine right. They will not resign because the law is different from them. They will not resign because they are above the law. And they can take this country for granted and do whatever it wa they want. But verification, authentic, everything is set there. Why are they not able to see it? I think it requires certain decision making which the BJP is faltering at. They are probably scared or threatened by what might happen in Rajasthan uh, politics. Mm -hmm. But really they got to look beyond the state. They got to look beyond the dynamics of who's got how many MLAs. Do the right thing and cut your losses. Take the decision now and save yourself the embarrassment. Okay. Save yourself the embarrassment. Sam Sambit Patra for now doesn't look too embarrassed. If anything, he's been a little more somber than he's been in the last few days. Sambit Patra, Sachin Pilot, appreciate your joining us. Thank you very much.